Let me tell you a story. A story of two bananas. Two bananas that met each other by chance. Two bananas that had a very intense relationship. You see, my friend, this is not just a story of two regular bananas. For you see, these two bananas couldn't live without each other. Or so they told themselves, like every other banana slut that jumps from banana to banana. These two bananas peeled each other. And not gradually, as you see that I'm literally doing with this banana. These bananas knew that they needed to peel each other the moment they saw one another. And so once they peeled each other on that night they met, They ate each other. Yeah, these were cannibalistic bananas. They did it with an urge and intensity that not every banana feels for each other. And so what happened next, you may ask? But you see, at one point, one of the bananas noticed that the other banana was off. This banana started to ask itself, do I really like banana number two? Or is banana number two just very particular about how he likes his bananas? Because you see, banana number two said it from the start. It was willing to bananas that were harvested in Central and South America as well as the Caribbean. It wasn't just into these bananas exclusively, but as some bananas would say, it had preferences. Whether or not those preferences were problematic was a question that the other banana didn't want to answer. But nonetheless, it felt some intensity towards banana number two. So they just kept cannibalizing each other with a gradually declining intensity. At one point, this banana asked itself if it ever really felt anything for banana number two. It knew the answer. So, it said bye to banana number two. And then one day, I met banana number three. Now, let me tell you about banana number three and this banana that we started the story with. When they saw each other, they also felt a lot of intensity towards one another. You see, before the skin was even peeled, these two bananas were rubbing each other, like a lot, in close proximity to a lot of other bananas. But as our first banana learned, that's just normal in the banana community. But you see, something was special about banana number three. Banana number three was, quite frankly, the hottest banana that this banana had ever seen. The calories, the grams of sugar, they were all just the right level with banana number three. So what happened once these two bananas met, like I said, there was some rubbing, and then they agreed to meet each other again. But banana number three went radio silent, so we just forgot about that too. So then, banana eventually met banana number four. And banana number four, let's be honest, was not as good as banana number three. Banana doesn't know if it will ever find a banana as savory and delicious as banana three promised it would be, but banana number four showed some interest in banana, and banana liked that. Because banana, to an extent, is a real narcissist and has a lot of issues that some may argue may probably require a therapist. But anyways, back to this faithful night where these two bananas met. Banana was interested in banana number four and the moment these two bananas met which went something like hi i'm banana and hey cool i'm banana number four almost instantly not only did the ritualistic process of rubbing one another began my friends banana knew that banana number four and itself were gonna peel each other that night and so they did and just like when quickly peeling any other banana They cannibalized one another. This particular instance was pretty nutritious. And so, Banana asked itself, wait, these feelings that I'm having for banana number four, why, why are they different? You see, while there were some similarities between banana number four and banana number two, banana wouldn't say that banana number two equal banana number four. That is, they weren't exactly the same banana. Because even though two plus two equals four, banana plus banana number four equals A lot of rough, dirty cannibalizing. And it was good. So good that banana actually thought that banana number four may be it. You know, why keep increasing the number of bananas when you found the right banana? Banana, banana found a real one. Banana knew that from that day on, it wanted to spend every single living day before it was actually ingested and digested by a human being with banana number four. But banana number four didn't feel the same way. And just like every other banana thought, it eventually went radio silent. So, we move on to banana number five. How exactly did banana meet banana number five? Banana doesn't remember at this point. It just knows that at one point it jumped from banana number four to banana number five. And next thing you know, it's yet again peeling the skin off of an R banana. It's honestly not even wondering about how many calories it's ingesting in just one day by eating so many bananas. So next thing you know, banana's under another banana skin. 
To be fair, ad number five was pretty tasty. Sometimes you just like the sugar. The sugar is very nutritious and it's good for you. Or at least that's what this banana told itself. But as banana eventually realized about itself, it, like every other banana, was a slut. And so it just went radio silent on banana number five. And so eventually banana met banana number six. And this is the one you've been waiting to hear about. Banana number six, oof, banana number six. Was yet another slutty banana the banana couldn't wait to get its hands on. Banana number seven. Now let's keep it real, playing it slow and banana's personality are just mutually exclusive concepts. So you can imagine what happened when banana met banana number seven. Yeah, right when they met. You can come judge it, but that's just a banana's game, honey. Banana liked banana number seven. It was unique with its own set of attractive attributes along with a few flaws, which banana actually saw as attractive. Banana number seven was not the banana. The banana knew it was gonna end up with, but banana didn't need that. And you know, sometimes a banana gains the level of confidence that it needs to just say, screw it. I'm still gonna cannibalize this banana. Even if both bananas know that cannibalizing each other at this point is not necessarily a means to an end. Sometimes bananas just wanna cannibalize each other because what else is there left for bananas to do on Earth? But anyways, the cannibalizing was good and eventually these bananas parted ways. Now, you may be asking, well, did Banana learn something after going through all of these bananas? From potentially racist banana number two, to overly attractive and probably tasty yet slutty banana number three, and then banana number four, which was the banana with commitment problems that got away. Or banana number five, which, let's keep it real, had no personality whatsoever, and was just there to make Banana feel better about itself after banana number four. Or banana number six, who clearly needs to learn to state the fact that it's not into monogamy when it meets other bananas. Or banana number Number seven, who, you know, was quirky and flawed yet sweet all the way through. Did banana learn something after peeling or almost peeling the skin off of all these other bananas? It did. Banana number eight is getting ghosted the minute it takes eight hours to respond to my last text message. You got me. I actually don't feel like I'm gonna get there yet today. Don't back down, no you drop back Keep it spicy, that's a fat fact We on the right track, yeah Driving me wild, giddy up like a stallion